guys, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, your QuickBooks and Accounting Experts. Um, today I want to talk to you about an issue that uh, I encountered recently where a client has set up a new 401k and you can see here they have a 401k company match and a 401k employee contribution and they're doing um, the company is, is providing 5%, maybe 3%, whatever. Um, and then the default for the employee contribution is 7%. And, you know, that can be all over the place. But here's the issue. When the client went to um, assign uh, these two items to each of the employees that are participating in the 401k, he saw, and let me just click here and I'll show you, he saw that both were coming out as a negative number. Now, this number, it could be, um, you know, it could be they want to contribute $100 a week, and maybe the company's doing 5%, but the company match portion should not be negative. It should not be a negative number because it is a company contribution. So, looking at this we see the issue is that both of these are set up as deductions and while this one is correct being a deduction this one should not be a deduction it should read company contribution so let's talk about how we're going to fix this uh, now first of all if you've already done a payroll using two items like this are wrong or, or using two items like this where one of them is wrong um, you, you've got bigger issues and um, you should give us a call and we can help you resolve that um, at Quick Trainer 910-338-0488 there's my shameless plug but if you have if you've just set these up and found that both are deductions and you want to make one a company contribution and you actually haven't done a payroll yet the, the fix is really simple First of all, we're going to create um, we're going to create the right item. In reality, I've already done that. I've got one here called a 401k um, company match. You can see here it's a company contribution. All right, um, but let's let me show you how you would go about um, actually creating this company contribution. So anywhere on this screen, right click, select new, and I like to use custom setup. I just think it's easier. Click next, and here's where the almighty decision is critical that you pick the right one. Company contribution. And then next, and when it's all said and done, um, it'll look like, like so. I'll click next. We're going to put who it's paid to the order of, you know, who the administrator of the 401k is, what your identifying account number is. I'm going to put it to an account called uh, 2210 Company 401k Payable. And when it gets paid, it's going to flow to an expense account called 6560 Company 401k. Your chart of accounts may be different. It may not. If you're a client of ours, it's, chances are it's really close to this anyway. And then I'm going to click next. Notice here, or notice here, that when I selected this as a company contribution, my choices here are, or at least quite a few of them, are centered around the fact that this is a company contribution. Now maybe you're setting up a 401k or 403b um, or a 501c. I mean, this, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you pick the right one for what you're setting up. In this case, it's a 401k company match. And then I'm going to click Next. I'm going to leave these alone. They're fine. And then I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click uh, Select Neither. Um, if the company, this is the default rate that the company is going to contribute. So whatever yours is. And if it has an upper limit, you know, select that as well. And then Finish. Now that's part one. And that's a critical part. Part two, you've got to touch all of the employees who have the wrong one assigned to them. It's pretty simple. Edit the employee, and then, you know, it'll, it'll start out here, actually. Here, let me show you that again. 
edit the employee. It starts out here. We'll go to payroll info and we're going to change this one to be this one. Now notice how that number went from a negative to a positive. Okay? And we say OK to that. All right. um, and also notice, well, no, I'm not even going to say that. That's it, guys. So again, to correct it, step one, create the right type of payroll item, a company contribution. Step two, make sure that all of your employees that have the wrong contribution type set up, that you change it out with the correct one. And then step three, get rid of this one um, that was set up improperly. And uh, you do that by just highlighting this um, and selecting Control D, or you could go up here to Edit, um, Delete Payroll Item. Now, it will not let me delete it because, oh, that's the employee. Huh, that's the reason it's not the right one. This is the one I want to get rid of, and I can't get rid of it either, huh? And the reason I can't is because it's used in this paycheck here when I was playing around with this. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, I hope this helped. I hope I didn't confuse you. If you have any questions, give us a call, 910-338-0488. And you can visit us on the web at www.quicktrainer.net. Make it a great day.